What's up everybody, Logan here with PremiumBeat.com and today we're going to build an overhead camera rig. Let's do it. Even if you don't know what an overhead camera rig looks like, you've definitely seen one of the shots in like a tasty video. Uh, Casey Neistat has one of these rigs in his studio and he uses it to show like stop motion animations or DIY builds or whatever. It's perfect for anybody just starting out on YouTube. Well, we're gonna build that. For this type of build, I'd recommend kind of drawing out what you wanna make beforehand. It's easier to measure the sides that way and kind of conceptually have an idea of what you're gonna see while you're building it. It just helps with the building process. So let's draw, shall we? 35 is gonna be about what all of the dimensions are because my desk is a square. So the build itself is gonna be pretty much a square. So you get the four beams, there's gonna be 35 each. Then you're gonna want the two support rails on top, which will be, you guessed it, 35 as well. You're gonna have two on the side also. Then the big support beam on the back of it is gonna be 33 inches, and that's just because it doesn't need to be as long because the, bit, or the width of each side of the board is gonna cut down the length. So 33 inches for the back. And for the actual board that you're gonna attach the camera to, it can kind of be as long as you want it to be. Uh, I wouldn't recommend being too long, but basically you just want it long enough to sit on top of the rig. This one was gonna be about 38 inches. You have your drawing done, you have your dimensions set, now it's time to cut the wood. If you have to cut the wood at home, I would recommend using the ends of the board. So measure in and then use this as the bottom in case you're worried about it being uneven. So I'm gonna measure 35 inches from here to right here and then from 35 from that end up. Um, just because I'm worried about it not being uneven and I am using just a saw. All right, that's enough. Let's just cut to the time lapse. For the support beams, uh, you can pick a little thinner wood. Um, the ones I'm using right here are about an inch and a half. This is about half an inch, so it doesn't really matter that they're as big as the, the main beams are, uh, just so that it can hold it together. Uh, well, I need to do the side supports again because I used uh, terrible wood that's warped and you shouldn't do that. So we're gonna use bigger, thicker wood and it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna actually screw in to the board that the camera will be connected to. And for this part, it's important to use a drill bit that's smaller than the bolt size, otherwise the bolt's, the bolt's gonna just slide in and out. Um, so for this, I'm using a seven over 32 drill bit. Uh, let's do it. So for this part, I'm just screwing the bolt in very slowly like this. In order to keep the piece that the camera is attached to from sliding around, uh, you can just kind of put just a little little chip chip, you know, right here, like so, and, uh, and that kind of keeps it level and smooth. Okay, I think we finished. 
The sides are a little sturdier and it fits on the table. And for the actual camera, we just screwed it into the board, which is a little janky way of doing things, but it works. We have our camera right here. As you can see, all good. All right, that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. Leave a comment letting us know what you want to see us build in the next video. Like, subscribe, and tag us if you make one of these yourself. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.